Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 718. NASDAQ up 183. S&P's up 67. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave Mazza. Dave, folks, is the managing director, head of product at Direction Shares. And what I'd love you to do right now, folks, is actually come over, not to TFNN. I'd like you to come over to Direction.com. And Direction spelled D-I-R-E-X-I-O-N. And the reason that I'm bringing you over there, we're going to be talking about uh, a new, uh, well, it's not a new regulation yet, but it's a regulation that uh, the SEC is looking at right now. Dave Mazda, what's going on? Not too much. I'm happy to be back. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, how about this volatility, huh? <laughs> well, it's funny. Uh, we've been in an environment where we've had low volatility, so the trading community um, has been difficult to, to find opportunities. And, man, last week was smack dab in the face Worst week since 08. Uh, volatility's back uh, and maybe here to stay for a little while as we digest uh, what the impact this coronavirus will ultimately be. Right. And for traders, it's great. I mean, I, I, I happen to like volatility. I don't like the idea that it went down so high, fast because, of course, people lose money. But, um, you know, volatility is a trader's friend. So what I'd like to talk about today, and folks, okay, if you can go to direction.com, it's D I R. EXION.com. What you're going to see on that front page, first off, you're going to see some products they have, but what I'd like you to get down to is the Security Exchange Commission has proposed new regulations that may limit our ability to trade leveraged and inverse funds. Um, so, can you just go over first what the Security Exchange is, Commission is proposing at this point, Dave? Yeah, let's start there. So, uh, uh as you said, recently the SEC has uh, proposed new regulations that, if put in place uh, as proposed, uh, that would have the potential of uh, potentially severely limiting the ability for many investors to be able to access leverage and inverse ETFs. Uh, now, they're doing so uh, uh, under the guise of investor protection and at direction, uh, along with uh, all of our peers in the ETF industry, and especially. Uh, leverage and inverse ETFs, we want to ensure people know how to use the products appropriately uh, as they are intended to be uh, daily trading vehicles. With that being said, it's a bit unprecedented uh, to be put in a place where on, on effectively a wholesale level, investors can't use products that they had historically used uh, as part of their their day-to-day -day investment strategy. And, and folks, if you when you go over here, um, I'd like to go through a couple things with Dave. One of them in particular uh, is that the proposed regulation is requiring you to provide extensive financial and personal information. <clears throat> the thing that's intriguing about that one, Dave, is that you know years ago, folks, okay, it used to be a lot harder trading options. Okay, options were supposed to be the worst thing in the world. Bottom line, you can see that you defined risk. You're putting a lot less in, in options. But even, you know, and I can go back even 20 years, 15 years, even in the option market, what ended up happening is that all was, you actually had to do, you didn't have to go send them the, your financials, okay? What you had to do is basically check off the boxes that you were basically, you've been in the market for a while and you, you understood the risk that you were taking. I, I'm really curious. It's like amazing that it's like, okay, they want... My, my financials? Like, am I going to go hire an, an auditor to send them in financials? I mean, I guess, I guess it's, uh, we don't know exactly what they're going to ask for, right? Well, uh, that's a good point. Uh, but what, I think what the intention is to try to understand some level of sophistication or some level okay. of wealth uh, where an investor, should they lose part of their money in their trade, uh, might not be completely wiped out. But I think you're, you're, what you're getting at is the right one is, is that really the right measure of sophistication from the ability to use, use uh, the products appropriately? You know, I, I recommend, regardless of this proposal was put in place, we have extensive disclosures uh, in our prospectuses on our website that investors do need to read and understand um, because, you know, these products do provide amplified exposures. Um, but uh, to, uh, to date, uh, there hasn't been ex uh, extensive evidence showed that investors are using them uh, inappropriately. In fact, if you look at the average holding period um, of our ETFs, it's quite it's quite modest. I mean, really in the one or two day period. So that means investors are not holding on to these for the long time. For a buyer, there's a seller, and, and that's what makes the market. Uh, investors are taking different opinions on whether uh, XPXL will go up or down 
uh, on any uh, any particular given day, for example. You know, it's going to be intriguing. Like this, if this actually went through, this is going to hit a lot of traders. Because what we've seen here is that you've seen a couple of different things. Number one, the traders have definitely know like eight thousand times more than they did, you know, ten years ago. I mean, that that's for sure, right? In yes. the aspect, the broker dealer community has brought down the leverage. If you remember when they first started, folks, when these first started, I mean. I love them because what ended up happening is that they they would actually give you margin on the full margin on it. But that stopped years ago. Uh, as you said, the, the, the daily um, aspect of it has been hammered home in a, on a continual basis. And then the, the deal, what I've seen is a lot of futures traders, Dave, coming into these. Well, just like last week. OK, so the bottom line is that it was so volatile. If you really wanted a little less risk, I saw futures traders going from the futures into these. I mean, because it's a higher risk in futures, okay, you know, leverage. But that's going to stop uh, a lot of folks that have been in the market for a long period of time. It won't stop them, I guess, if we come up with all the regulations. But sometimes I ask, well, why, right? You know, why? And how do you prove that you're educated? I guess that there's, there's a lot of things in there that, that I'm trying to figure out. How can you prove this? Well, yeah, you're, you're raising a really good point. I think in, in any market, historically, today's market, there's ways that people can find leverage, find ways to amplify exposures, maybe even in, in more so than the, in a transparent daily way uh, that we provide with our, with our, our leverage universe ETFs. And that's why we're really encouraging um, traders, those who are using products, uh, to submit a comment letter. Right. You, know, you, can, you can do that. Right through uh, uh, via our, our site uh, where you directed folks earlier to go. It's very easy uh, where you provide uh, your comment and you provide your uh, a, a bit of uh, uh, your name and, and email address and the like uh, to put it on public record um, that you use these products appropriately. You want to see them continue to be um, uh, offered uh, because you understand the disclosures, understand the risks, whether that uh, you and you've done the homework yourself um, because it would be unprecedented if these products were not allowed uh, to be accessed by investors and other things uh, like futures or options where there is actually higher amounts of leverage that can be embedded uh, could still be uh, bought and sold. Yes. So folks, okay, you go to direction.com and directions, D-I-R-E-X-I-O-N. You're going to see it's an important notice. Security Exchange Commission has proposed new regulations. Now you can do, do two different things. You're going to hit here. After, so you can see the proposals. Then you're going to put submit your comments here to the SEC. Uh, bottom line is that you'll see that uh, you're going to basically put your full name, your email. And once you read what this is about, folks, you can make your own choice of, you know, what, you, what words you want out there. But I would encourage you to uh, basically let them know that, you know, number one, we're self-directed traders. Number two, we know what we're doing. And number three, okay, we don't want this rule. That's the real bottom line. Dave, thank you.